Welcome back, everybody, to Vibes Podcast. Vibes, 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 vibes. I'm your beautiful host, Davy Delicious D. Like beautiful is questionable. I'm owning it. I've owned all the names now. To my right is our certified vibe controller. That's what he DJ does. DJ D. And to my left, your host with the most. He wears hats and bandanas. Thank you. What are those called? Hat attires? You Accessories. Just say my name. Let's keep going. <laughs> Captain Lebrizzo. Hey, how's it up, Lebs? How you doing, guys? <laughs> Great chat. Oh, Davy, we have a very special episode today. Beautiful. Yeah. Beautiful I feel like this is one that's been in the works for a hot minute. <laughs> I feel like we've been saying we need to get this person on, we need to get this person on. But sat in the studio today with us, ladies and gentlemen, is the strategic brand manager as well as artist manager of one of our biggest festival brands in SA, currently known as G&G Productions or also <laughs> The Goosebump Company. <laughs> Ladies and gents, he has festivals under his name, such as Kunye, Belito Big Week, Rage, and many, many, many more. When he's not playing, when he's not organizing your favorite parties, he's also playing at them. And even when he is organizing them, guess what? He's also playing at them too. <laughs> we have a massive guest in the studio, ladies and gentlemen. Everybody welcome, Tristan Owey. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, how's it, guys? Hey, uh, yeah. I'll be happy. Yeah, I'll be. yeah, I feel like this has been in the works. Yeah, 100%. I feel like yeah. literally at the start of the year, we were like, bro, we need to fucking sit yeah. down. And yeah, then we're like, yeah. no. In our yeah. heads, we always knew it would be around this time, but we never voiced that to you because we were scared. <laughs> yeah, well, I watched uh, that. Yeah, we basically met as well last year, proper at Rage as well. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I literally, oh, hey, that was a bit of a sin, guys. That was, that was a <laughs> fucking sin, bro. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> <fun>. <laughs> yo, I, yo, those, those 4 a.m. steers trips, let's, let's, let's get serious. <laughs> bro, the bunny child 4 a.m., are you mad? <laughs> Even it was always pick your poison. We got bunny chars and we got steers in the same garage every yeah. night. That was it. Stock standard. Yo. And everyone who got the bunny chars, we, they complained. I complained regret. for like three days. I like, hey, yo, everyone's like, oh, mm, yo, I'm not feeling to it. Like, you got a garage bunny chow. What did you want from <laughs> like, this? Come on. <laughs> it was five in the morning. It's a chai bunny. It's fuck sex. Oh, no, that was, that was oh. killer. But yeah, it's great to be here, guys. Thanks oh, for having me. Yeah. It's beautiful to have you. Yeah. Yeah. I feel like talking about like that. Belito, I was seeing you there. It was probably the first time we saw you properly like involved in running the festival. Like I remember first night at Town Factory, man's busy zooming on the golf cart. <laughs> 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 yeah. It's wild. Is it? Do you still get like nervous when you run events, or is it essentially like you are oh, kind of you know what's going on, so you don't really? I think I won't lie. Now it's it kind of feels like a little bit like second nature, um, and I kind of like just you know when you first start driving a car. You're like you're still trying to figure things out now it kind of just feels yeah, like it's it's the, the process is yeah. there you know yeah. um if it's like it's something a little bit different and i work with like some some acts i haven't worked with before can get can get quite hectic i won't lie yeah. especially you know, and then i've got some stories to tell you a bit later but so, <laughs> other than that, it's, it's um yeah it just gets kind of like second nature now which is super cool yeah 100 yeah. uh, oh throwing like events to like the magnitude of it what's like one of the wildest things that's happened like not gone wrong because i feel like gone wrong is always a bad thing but just like oh wow i did not think this would happen at this event mm. you know there's okay so there's kind of like i'm gonna there's there's two things actually mm. um a, w a while back i was working a show just as like once again as an artist liaison just working with the artists and that and I just basically got an artist on stage. Um, she was DJing and I just stepped off to the side of the stage and I'm chatting to the, the tech guys. And next thing, like, listen, she was the only one there. She didn't have any guests. It was just her. Yeah. Next thing, this like this one lady just pops out from around the corner on the stage and she looks at us and then she just walks back to the front of the stage and look at the tech guys. I'm like, do you, no. yeah. do you know? <laughs> and they're like, mm -mm. I'm like, okay well, this is a little bit sus because there's only one there's somewhere. only the dj there so i <laughs> yeah. went and i checked and this chick is absolutely ripping it she's having the time of her life standing on the dj booth going mad oh, i'm like no. yeah no, this, <laughs> this, this, <laughs> i don't know where she came from but this is this is i don't know what's cracking her yeah. so we call we like obviously um she's like on the stage so everyone can see her everyone can see her and i'm obviously um as a guy you ca i can't really go move her i can yeah. try to talk to her and I don't want to make a scene either. So we'd rather just try a call. Like there's like, usually like a reaction team. It's the security. Oh, hectic. So call them. We tell them it's a female. And like 20 guys pull up. And we're like. <laughs> <laughs> guys, guys I, it, I, yeah. I don't know. What are we going to do here? So I'm like, okay, maybe. Okay, two or three of you. Maybe just go try talk to her. 
um so they go out and they try to talk to her very calmly there's like two thousand people at this this festival just as you're going they're grooving and then they manage to convince her to come around to the back and then as they walk her around to the back i think she sees how many people are there and she's like yo and next thing she bolts down down like the back of the stairs uh, like the back of the stage down the stairs and she like rips it around to like the other side back into the crowd now these 20 security guards they basically go around and chase after her oh, fuck. guys with <laughs> i don't know what happened within like 30 seconds she's back on the stage again no so <laughs> And she's sending it. So yeah. She's going absolutely mad. I'm like, oh, you got to be kidding me. Then, yeah. then eventually, then the female reaction team arrives and they have to they actually have to like grab her and take her. Yeah. I think she was ripping some other kind of drugs. Oh, yeah. Guys, this, it's a Sunday night and she looks like, like a mother. And like, do you not have kids at home? It's always work? those types though. <laughs> no, actually. Yeah, so that was, that was quite a, I must say, it was quite an experience. Eventually, I had to go to the DJ. She was so confused. I was just like, you got a super fan. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 she loved you. <laughs> um yeah so that was one and then another time um it was this was for something that was also just like quite mad it was for for rage i'm not going to reference the artist um but he's basically like he's a really like massive mc mm -hmm. big in like the, the more like uh main market side mm -hmm. um and we inquired with him to come and like mc one of the nights at rage um and then then it the management never got back to us ever so kind of like you know it's like it is what it is yeah so, long day um six months later it's that night oh, does no. the brother not pull up Fuck with me. his whole squad <laughs> <laughs> like two vans like with his whole team and him and he's like and we i spoke speak to the other arts manager i'm like listen this homie's here and we look at each other and we're like <laughs> what <Yeah. laughs> so like we're we make a plan we like just quickly sit down and check out the set times make sure like try to juggle some things like we go to him like cool we've got 20 minutes for you Hectic. goes on absolutely kills it um you'd expect him to have like a crazy hospitality rider just like guys whatever he was so chilled oh, yeah. guys like he, i'm not gonna, gonna say his name but he's he's huge huge there's a rather not afterwards he, like after age we just get an invoice <laughs> i'm like <laughs> I was like, even wondering because right, like, for me it was like, yo, damn, it sounds like like a free like round and ride. Like, oh yeah, yeah. play the set. I'm chilled. See you guys. Even yeah. the fact that you made space for him, he must be like, 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 like on the night because like, like and the crowd went mad. Yo, yeah. obviously because he's he's a, he's huge, so the crowd just went absolutely crazy. He had like his little twenty minutes of like hyping the crowd before the other artists set, and then he carried on through the night. So it was actually it was super cool, but it was just like but we had no contact with this, <laughs> and he just pulled up. We're like okay I wonder if <laughs> that's, that's just so weird yeah i wonder if that's how they do it normally they're just yeah. like if you want me i'll be there yeah it's like if you've asked and i've said like i'm kind of keen i'll be you there you didn't say anything <laughs> <laughs> that's the problem <laughs> even for like us to get you on we like triple confirmed everything and yeah the guy's like no i'll just show up yeah i know yeah i think we just we got it just in time i won't lie to you guys eh? yeah. otherwise like, yeah. oh, next yeah. week onwards tickets Yo. for like another six seven weeks yeah before yeah. we started rolling tristan took us through his december calendar and if you guys have ever wanted to throw up just by hearing how busy a man is gonna be i feel like that's that's exactly what it is <laughs> you are guys i'm so stressed eh? but and, and what's, what's crazy to me is it's not like you have like this big sabbatical before you go away and do the whole of december with two days break it's like i've seen you on at least one or at least two minimum lineups every weekend since fucking the start of the year guys yeah, like it's fed basically. i don't i probably had like at most two three weekends since i can't even say since the start of the year since maybe like november october maybe like november october last year it's it's been it's been a crazy year yo it's been it's been wild i won't lie so that's why <laughs> chronically <laughs> tired. Yeah, i tell a lot of people the first of january you my won't catch me. Off. You will not hear me for two weeks. <laughs> Don't even try, please, because <laughs> that is my. Like, I'll disappear to the mountains or something. Oh, you have to do it. Come back with a beard and shit. Yeah, hundred <laughs> percent. Dead trim. <laughs> <laughs> nah, mad. In terms of the festivals that you curate, I feel like they have such different vibes to them. Like the vibe of Kunya is different to the vibe of a Rage is different to a vibe of like an Umoyo or something like that. So, going off of that, do you have? A different approach to each one of these events that you go into it with or from a so like i don't really sit on like the operational side that that's kind of 
the way those guys the operations teams approach things that's kind of very very similar like in terms of like setting up the show staffing all of that sort of thing mm. but from like a like brand strategy and lineup side in that from that sense it's yeah you have to think of it very differently you almost you have to take yourself you almost forget sometimes that you actually have to place yourself in the crowd. as yeah you have to imagine yourself in the crowd and think what and even on the other side of social media and um, and the, like just in marketing in general you just have to kind of position yourself there and be like what do i want to what do i want to as this consumer what do i want to see from that brand to make me really want to like to, to go there and actually mm. say take my money yeah. you know it's it's um it, it gets quite difficult especially the brands all have very different um target markets as well so it's yeah it's i, I mean, like, it's quite cool because it's actually like trained my mind to really think like that to and i think it's it's created like it's it's um given me like quite a diverse like mm. skill set in a sense that's working like across all these different shows mm. so yeah you definitely it's it's yeah it's it's very very different mindset it's like for age <laughs> i have to think okay i'm an 18 year old kid i've mm. never gone trolling in my life <laughs> uh, i want to pump a bottle of 18 to 18 every single night Jesus. what am i going to do yeah. <laughs> like, what, what is going to make doing me a think? pool festival guys yeah, exactly uh yeah. so yeah that's de most definitely i'd say you know mm, yeah do you find yourself still enjoying jewels or do you like go there and you kind of like put your yeah, like business actually. brain on be like oh, i wouldn't put you put that guy there like the, light, the <laughs> yeah, lights should also be somewhere else for being on this jingle with the lineups <laughs> he's yeah. like i wouldn't have put that one there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. you know guys it's so horrible actually because literally that is yeah. if i I have to I have to consume a little bit of alcohol if I don't want to think about that stuff. I mean, like, it's, such, it's a horrible thing I have to say, but I'm like, yeah. I have to literally prepare myself for that mindset of where if I go out somewhere and I'm not working at it or playing at it, mm -hmm. I have to be like, okay, we're not going to, I just want to draw. I just want to listen mm -hmm. to music and have a good time. I don't want to talk to anyone. I don't want to talk to anyone. I don't want to, yeah. I don't want nothing. Yeah, so it's, um, it happens every now and then. Mm. And it ends up being a, an overset, though, and like, <laughs> <laughs> I take full advantage. Overset is yeah. crazy. Because, um, yeah. Like, I don't get these days off, man, please. <laughs> yeah. Just let me be loose, man. Every now and then. Like, yeah. I think, um, like, I'll take, I think there's been like two nights this year where I've said, we were, uh, like, myself and the, the homies, we weren't playing anything. I said, guys, let's just go. We're gonna send it tonight. Let's just go out. Yeah. Yeah. Let's not think about anything. Let's go somewhere that where we actually won't really know many of the people either. I, so we can put our, so Where's we'll that, Tristan? <laughs> where is that? Because <laughs> even you've got the east. I but, mean, maybe yeah, the west, may, but like it would be deep west. Yeah, you'd be at like full moon or some shit. <laughs> And even in the back, come play oh. it. Like I don't want to. It's like, but I'll play the set. I guess. <laughs> uh, yeah, no. Have you? <laughs> I'm trying to, actually trying to think now. Yeah. Bro, you you know, have actually, to, like, you have to, to be honest, it more has yeah, more like the. For example, like actually Onyx. To be to be honest, mm. like we don't go there very often. I don't know too like too much of the crowd there, but there's been we actually has been like a few nights we went there just to go chill, oh, yeah. and we just. Sense. don't know anyone just are. relaxing I can, I can hear a few people but it's so, it's so dark and loud and you can't hear or see anyone anyway so just <laughs> 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 oh I mean, i'm also like being being in like clubs and that a lot and at festivals my hearing is not top tier oh. so eventually i'm honest with people i'm like i really can't hear you and i can't yeah. lip read either so <laughs> long day for you no. message me tomorrow please <laughs> <laughs> so, oh, yeah. fuck, bro. Oh, gosh. and in terms of hosting all of these events and working with all these different artists how does that influence you as a dj so so we're on being on like the the business side of it it's actually helped my ident help like help me identify like myself like as an artist what am i doing to contribute to the experience of the festival mm -hmm. or, the, or the events like they've obviously got an agenda in mind unless they're doing it just for money Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> we know the guys that actually are putting on like they've, they've got a, a very specific experience in mind like you I, almost i don't think on like a very personal like selfish level in terms of i'm just going to go play my set and that's that so i try mm -hmm. to think like how am i what it, what am i going to do to contribute to that experience as a whole not just their playing but like beforehand like how, how can i also like support mm -hmm. the, yeah. the, the the promoter like 
that's why i push content so hard because as being someone that works on the other side i'm like yo the, all i want is just feed me content that i can use to push out to the audience oh, so i think that yeah. and also think okay so they also want to talk to these kinds of people so how am i going to talk about their brand to my audience to kind of make it resonate oh, on that okay. level so Damn. in that sense i feel like it's giving it's <clears throat> i've been able to kind of get like a nice overall understanding of which is yeah. I, which i think is super super cool and quite like it's strategically it's quite it's quite yeah. viable i think that's sick yeah, as well yeah. i think it's like nice because you like you don't want to be that dj that plays a set goes home kind of thing it's like exactly. i'm yeah, I'm, yeah, here, yeah. I'm here to promote like e- electronic music and jawling and well, not jawling that's what the nicer word festivals like jawling festivals is the word. Oh, <laughs> sounds weird doesn't sound professional jawling is what we do ah, <laughs> but to promote like events kind yeah, of thing where it's yeah, yeah. Ah, groove. <laughs> <laughs> like, got me flustered man yeah. That's a wild mental dynamic. Like I never thought that you'd ever like that you'd have to consider another person's brand while you're playing for them. Like you just have to present your brand as best as you can. Exactly. But then yeah. Like you'd obviously assume <clears throat> that the the festival has or the the promoter or that brand has already thought about that. There's a reason why they're speaking to you. Mm. Um, but sometimes, like you, to an extent, they appreciate they they see it and they appreciate it when you just do those they, they notice when you do those extra things to try like mm. support them and help them out which um it, yeah it's and i appreciate it myself as well when artists do it for me i'm mm. like thank you make like, my life <laughs> easy i'll be booking you again <laughs> yeah, <laughs> <there is. laughs> oh yeah <laughs> as, as somebody who's probably one of the most booked men in joburg right now how would you say younger djs and up-and-coming djs should like work to get booked so yeah i'll literally i'll touch on basically kind of what like i've said already Mm -hmm. um okay so i think you can't just i think just sitting at home and just dming all the promoters and and all the events and that just sending dms and dms and dms and messaging it's it's to be honest they're just going to probably get irritated Mm. and start like ignoring you like obviously give show love you know show love on social media and that but actually like go to the events because oh, yeah. most of the time you know you like you all know who's running like who's running the show mm. so go there and actually like support and like if you see they've got a gap like maybe just try to talk to them and maybe just literally go up to them and say like i would really love to play the show tell me like what um, what 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 can i do to yeah. to make to uh, to bring value to you yeah mm-hmm. um and i think most time most times i'll be honest and i'll Oh, well, I hope, and they would give some, some advice. But I think, like, that's one aspect. Another aspect is, like, once again, the, when you are like young and up and coming, <clears throat> the show, like, the shows and opportunities, you, opportunities you do get, like, get content from it. Like, the, as best, even if it means like, scraping, getting your friend to record. Yeah, there. Oh literally, guys, you know, phones can really take mm. some great stuff nowadays. Mm. Like, literally, a friend just has to take like a whole bunch of videos. Um, even if you scrape a little bit, like try to scrape a bit of cash here and they get like a videographer and get a photographer in, mm-hmm. get them to come in, make some good content, share it with the promoter afterwards um, and put it up to your, to your audience. Like what, firstly, it's just, it's just putting it out there, like showing like what you can do. And then once again, the promoter, like they love that. It's, mm. it's helps push their brand and, and immediately they'll have good things to say about you to others and they'll probably be booking, like be booking you again. Right. So I think, that's mm. like some of the stuff that's that the guys like really do appreciate and is quite i think is quite crucial personally yeah, yeah. it's crazy that it has to be like a all-rounded experience now. it's like you have to be good at the thing <coughs> but also there's all this other shit now that you need exactly. to consider as well and i think also um one more thing like i know the promoter w- will also appreciate if you come with people uh, like yeah. it's also like there's a bit of a balance like promote like the the bra- the <clears throat> the events and promoter would want people to buy tickets but like oh, i feel it like literally ask the promoter ask like how much guests can you get you've got like quite a few friends that want to come through and support uh, generally bec- most times if you're up and coming you'll probably play like an earlier set so the promoter actually wouldn't mind giving you like quite a sizable guest list because mm-hmm. it's making their event look like quite cool no, and no. they'll also appreciate that so that's also just like a little for the guests as merchants that's a little <laughs> Sin- there. come early come yeah, early no pass outs <laughs> no pass outs <laughs> no buy some alcohol let's go <laughs> oh, yeah. what would you say like 
looking back <clears throat> like your success i feel like your success hit exponential at the start of this so when you played ultra just a just a yeah, small enough, small little enough. event by mistake <laughs> in the south yeah just just a bit south. of an event yeah, <laughs> but uh, just uh <laughs> how would you like accredit like your success would you say it's like that kind of thing like putting a lot of effort into like your self as like a business in that sense where it's like promoting yourself um yeah so i'll attribute it to like maybe two or three things i think um once again yeah like the certain like Kind pushing of strategies, your strategies that i have in terms of like pushing my brand that i've that i've already mentioned i think those have been quite crucial um and i think the second thing is previously before covid it was quite difficult for artists to there was quite there was a quite a bit of gatekeeping and quite a strong monopoly mm. among certain promoters and clubs i'm not going to name them um so the only way to really get yourself out if you really wanted to get like get yourself out there was to host your own events mm -hmm. and put yourself on the lineup that's yeah that was ba that's basically the gist of it so um towards the end of COVID, especially through COVID as well that's kind of uh what myself and dennis started doing just started throwing out well trying to putting together a few of our own events and putting ourselves on the lineup and i think that was kind of like the the kick the kind of the, the initial kick that we needed mm -hmm. um listen Den dennis has been going at it a lot longer than i have i'll be honest mm -hmm. he's been he's been in it all in since like 2015 2016 yeah, sure. um so he's been grinding he's been grinding it out but kind of from about that point onwards of um i think that's kind of where the growth kind of really started mm -hmm. and then obviously a few nice like very like amazing bookings mm -hmm. from a few massive like really cool brands has really helped a lot as well yeah. and i feel like you've even played like <coughs> literally i don't think there's a festival the of a high magnitude in this country that you haven't played yet like i feel like you've done them all like it's, one of those <laughs> where it's like oh he's done ultra he's done rage he's done uh, h2o he's just knocking them back yeah, even in cape town then he was like fuck this i'm going to namibia <laughs> yeah, i'm gonna leave the country actually I like i was having like a bit of self-reflection the other day and i was like yo 2023 has actually been it's been a year and a half mm -hmm. oh, like it's been and, and it's quite hard to describe like i try i try i do feel that i'm like I am quite humble um and I don't often know how to describe like I don't know how to describe like what it's what it actually feels like and the appreciation towards it mm -hmm. and being able like getting these opportunities but it's um like it's it's crazy man it's yeah. I mean, it's it's more now I'm just trying to think like okay so like kind of what's next. what's next what's what's like the main focus next I'm not actually quite sure yet but mm. I think the path that that i'm on at the moment seems to be working so i'm just going to keep going and see what happens <laughs> from there That's but so it's um bad. yeah it's been it's been a prior serious year and a half and it's it's an it's, <clears throat> it's amazing actually yeah it's, it's super super cool yeah 100 yeah. oh. oh sorry let me just jump on <laughs> <laughs> so you also live in the equivalent of a content creator <laughs> house but in the dj format <laughs> so we wanted to know how does that influence you as well is it like every day you get home and then you hear fucking tyler's making music in the back and then dennis has just dropped a track and is like booking gigs and they're like skellum's also fucking <laughs> so somehow a videographer and a dj still no one knows how he does it <laughs> dylan's like, just walking through the house so i'll leave now <laughs> <laughs> guys it's that house is constantly moving something you guys it's 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 always turning up i, I don't know it's like, <laughs> like we're joking earlier because like uh, when we first moved into the place we didn't have like a lot of stuff in there there's a piece of furniture there like mm. still didn't have a washing machine like <laughs> 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 and we just called it a trap house because it's actually there's always something happening i can never walk in there and it's dead it's silence easy, yeah. ever maybe at like four in the morning possibly a little bit quiet yeah. you know <laughs> but <laughs> oh that wimpy i should be a shareholder guys i know the staff off for heart there's porsche there's patrick they're my hope like and we walk in there they have their eyes light up and we're like yes Let's go. <laughs> That's so good. um but yeah it's actually so it's actually been quite it's it's really cool to live in like a dynamic like that because you you're su surrounded by like a lot of graft and a lot of like like just that creator mindset mm. um so it constantly like drives you to like there's a lot of oh there's just a lot of discussion about ideas and mm -hmm. cool things to try out and um and it also like you see you like your homie's busy like dennis is there he's 
he's got his earphones in, he's busting some track there on Ableton. Mm-hmm. I'm like, I can't sit and watch TV now. What? No. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 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 I'm going to whip out the laptop and start like, oh, let me work on something else as well. Mm-hmm. Um, so in that sense, it's like, it's really, really cool. But also at the same time, <clears throat> like it does actually create a lot of tension sometimes. Mm. Like someone will be trying, like be on a meeting and you're just like, guys, just, <laughs> just shut up, please. Just, just, I, I just asked you, please keep quiet. And I can hear thumping music. And I've got so, this person on the, the, on the, on the Google meet and like, what's that noise? Can you try to like sing? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, okay, okay please. <laughs> like, no, it's nothing. You know, I'm just playing a mix here on my TV at the back. I'll turn it off quickly. Just, just, yeah. <laughs> um, it's I quickly mute and I'm like, I, I op- open this door. I'm like, guys. Uh, and they look at me and like with that awkward face and I walk back and I slam the door and <laughs> finish the meeting. I walk out. I'm like, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> that moment, that moment. <laughs> was a good track. <laughs> yeah. Um, but like with the example with Dennis, like we go, we go really far back since like since we were in boarding school together mm. as well. So we've actually stayed like we're quite used to each other. Like there'll be times we'll like rip each other's heads off, but it'll be really short lived. And then <clears throat> within like 10 minutes, we're like, okay, how do you No, We're playing it back <laughs> to back. We, we got this. It's okay. Like <laughs> <laughs> literally guys, I think oh, there was an event last year. Um, the, the security was shouting at, they were losing their mind about people walking through this one section, mm. getting to the backstage. And then Dennis goes and he helped like one of his homies. He just helps him get through that exact spot. And I go to him like, bro, they just, they just shout on us for doing that. And he goes off at me. He's like, ah, but you like, you let your, your homies. Ah, and we were just going at each other. <laughs> and with, we were supposed to start a back to back in five minutes. And oh, we were absolutely but- <laughs> ripping each other's heads off. We we're eventually like, Nah. Uh. <laughs> honey. <laughs> no, 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 I'm like, no, no. I understand. Honey, I'm sorry. Let's do this. We're like, cool. We went up and we had an absolute time. So I think because you go so like so far back, it's quite cool that um we know it like we know each other so well and we can like cool down situations yeah. quite quite easily. So yeah. As you it's it's a very it's a it's a very out. interesting dynamic. It's it's def- it's not something that would work with a lot of people i definitely like it's not easy yeah, to just yeah you live with them and then you also like play at the same parties together and like y- yeah dude yeah. it's literally like this <laughs> <laughs> literally hey, twins. um so i often find like i'll often just get home i'll just go straight into my room because i'm genuinely actually like i'm i would say i'm quite i'm more on the like the introverted side mm. i can i can quite happily just chill in my own space and keep quiet and just do something you oh, know yeah. so i often just disappear into my room and i'll just I'll appear the next morning and be like, how's it guys? You know? Yeah, you guys have made all this <laughs> ginger beer. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. That's good. Uh, so, I need some context. No, no, it's, it's, it's actual ginger beer. It's not even weird. <laughs> it's just oh, like whenever man. I don't see Davey for a long time, he comes back with a weird new hobby. <laughs> so oh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, we didn't oh, go wow, out for yeah. like October. So like when you got back together, I was just like, I started making yeah, granola man. like in my baking phase, man. <laughs> it's like David wrote a podcast. So like, yeah, I'm literally granola. In this, I'm literally in this house busy learning what the fuck granola is. And he's like, nah, you just go put it in the oven. <laughs> That's some honey. You gotta, gotta bake that stuff. Did any did any of you guys go through the the making some alcohol in lockdown? Oh man, <laughs> luckily <laughs> not. I would have killed myself if I did. Hey, eh? like I'm bad at cooking. Like I love it, uh, but I'm bad. Yo, uh, bro, me too, eh? Hey? I think did you do the pineapple beer? Uh, yeah, I attempted it. Oh, yeah. It was quite stiff. So someone's like, "No, put it through a pressure cooker, and just it'll just ex- like if you just you heat it up, cool it down. Uh, it just it, at a certain temperature, just the alcohol will evaporate and condense. So I made like pure like moonshine. <laughs> In oh, a pressure guys, cooker. that stuff. Ooh, it was pair of, it was, and that was 93 unleaded that. Oh, <laughs> you're, you're halfway through, it's like, I could actually start my own alcohol brand. Like we, got, like, not, we, just, we just lit, we lit it, it's boom, and we're like, oh, okay, this <laughs> yeah. is serious. We might die if we drink this. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we, oh, we. So that was, was an experience, too. Oh, man. That's so wild, man. Fuck. So on the side of like, obviously being a fan of Jaws, I hope still, <laughs> you still like yeah there's a few there's a few yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you look at parties and you're like wow this would be really cool to do here this would be really cool you also went to coachella last year right 
Yeah. Was it this year? So yeah. Sorry, it feels this like last been year. Been so like, long. Like man. ultra feels like last year. Yeah. Uh, it's, even though it was yeah around the, just a little bit earlier this year, a few yeah. months ago. Mm. How was yeah? How was that experience for you? Like going that side and like just. Um, okay, so like the states in general, it, it kind of felt like I was watching a um, like an early two thousands like rom com series vibe. It, oh, I don't know. It was just, it was Sunset. quite, it was quite, it just felt like quite, like quite generic. Mm. Very, oh, once yeah. again, very, very Western, of course. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I, I went to, I was in, I was in LA. So that was more like, you know, the, the California car, like more like relaxed car and vibes. Yeah. And it was just, it was just weird how like, I like ordered everything was. There was mm. no like taxis ripping it down but through the traffic lights. There was no, like there was barely traffic and yeah. everything just really worked. Oh, so, and yeah, America in general is quite... It was, it was interesting. It was it was cool. A lot of guys, a lot of like the hobos there. They were all on crazy drugs. Oh fuck! That, that. like, yeah, our hobos here are so calm. <laughs> <laughs> a few of them get cracked, but then they they kind of like ease off most of the yeah. time. Normally like, it's just pesos. Though. They'll still help you park, park your car, kind of thing. Yeah, yeah exactly. Around. You know, <laughs> I think like the way the my craziest ex- actually my weirdest experience was as we landed. Uh, we couldn't check into our accommodation yet so we dropped off our bags at a we work oh, yeah. like a co-working spot and then mm-hmm. we just went to go we were like let's go try the mcdonald's let's see what it's like and we walked into this mcdonald's and we order the food and then i turn and just like the basic way that this this heating area is and i just this this picture was just crazy in that corner over there there's someone with a full gaming setup plugged into the wall, like a big like box and screen crazy. headphones. They're going mad, tuning like tuning his friends. He's going crazy there, um, playing some Call of Duty or something. Then you've got right next to him is like this hobo couple, Aww. absolutely like devouring their faces. You find love in like you're know, dev- like right next to him, just devouring like this meal. Oh, they are loving, they're having it. <laughs> and then right next to them it. is another <laughs> like. I think also like a hobo sitting fa- the tables behind them they're facing the wall and they're having a full on conversation oh, with something the with the wall a full on like conversation I was like hmm okay that poor hobo thought the I'm like, guy was talking to him <laughs> <laughs> I'm like you know you do you yeah. and then I turn around again and a school of like 50 Down Syndrome kids just walks in <laughs> oh no there's no way there's no Guys, way I was like what movie am I in here? Yeah. This, is, this is crazy. All paid actors. <laughs> and, Everyone's an actor. And to top it all off, the Big Mac meal was like 200 bucks. Oh, fuck Yeah, there's... Cool. there's, there's <laughs> there it is. I was like... That's so I don't Sorry? Was it better or was it like... Uh, same. Uh, very, very similar. It's like exact. Yeah, um, but Coachella itself. Sorry, I diverted a little <laughs> bit there. I, was, I had to just... You, know, yeah, you gave us hobo couple, man. You know, That's uh, <laughs> that will stay with me for life. Uh. Um... Actually, the drive from LA to Coachella is like is like an hour and a half. Mm-hmm. We initially booked a shuttle, but the shuttle was leaving from the airport. And by the we wanted to see Carl Watson sets, you know, had to support local, you know, mm-hmm. come on. And so we're like, if that shuttle only leaves when he starts, so like, you know, we're gonna book an Uber. And like it was quite expensive, but we booked a van, ended up being like ish, converted to like eight hundred Rand each one way. It was quite pricey. That's yeah. not that bad for I mean, what did you pay for the finals? Yeah, same. I was about some there, yeah. Um, who would driver pulls up? It's like some Chinese guy doesn't speak a drop of English. Damn. <laughs> Not one drop of English. Uh. It was almost like a weird car ride. So I'd like say to him, like, oh, can I connect to the Bluetooth play- and play some tracks? He's like, oh. <laughs> and he just carries on driving. Oh, I'm like, unreleased. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, uh, and I was just sat there waiting nothing ever really happens i was like okay and then i, I tried to ask it started getting really hot so i asked him like can we t- i was like can we turn on the aircon he looked at me he's like oh it carries on driving <laughs> <laughs> i was like oh god oh guys i was like i don't really know what to do i think like an hour in he pulls out like this little like remote looking thing he starts spitting into it he start, I'm not sorry, not spitting. He starts talking uh, into it. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> bars. So he starts spitting bars into it. <laughs> and then he looks at it, he presses enter. And then like this like robot, like like English, Chinese accent voice is oh, like, damn. your first time in America? <laughs> I'm like, 
<laughs> yeah. I'm like, oh, so this is how we do it. Yeah. I'm like, okay. And then we had a whole, for another hour, we had a whole conversation on this little thing. It was, yeah. it was you know, that was like such a weird experience. It was super cool. That's Ended okay. up being best homies with the guy. That's beautiful. Um, Coachella itself, it was, it's, it's just, the scale of it was mm. immense, guys. Like to walk from one side to the other was like 30 minutes. It was, oh, sure. I don't even, I didn't even get to all the stages. I was there for three days. Fuck. Jeez. It is, oh, yeah, just like 150,000 people of like, with, the be- like the best the best of the best mm. in terms of entertainment from all around the world it was i don't say it was something i won't lie to you um but something that I, like i realized um from like social media you obviously see like a lot of celebrities and it seems like it's very international like a lot of people from all around the world go there um i didn't see one celebrity for starters Damn, secondly really? i did not m- hear meet or speak to any like anyone that was from another country they were all american oh, shit. and they all seemed very local which oh. was quite interesting it kind of got me thinking like a little bit like like cool like the scale is huge but i think they america's got like what, 500 million mm. people mm. No. it's like quite a nice disposable income so there's they actually it's it's i imagine I don't want to say it's easy, but I think it's it's not it's not as maybe as hard as it seems to put on of something that of that Yo, to get yeah. that many people there because you've got such a like massive audience to market to. Yeah. So when I think back to SA and the amount of people we have here, as well as the disposable incomes people have, I think we're actually doing some pretty cool like we're doing some pretty good things. I won't yeah. lie to you, like we're doing in terms of like the scale and that. Yeah, like I think we must actually people see all this crazy international stuff, but I think we can actually really appreciate what we've got here it's from especially from like an attendance and entertainment mm-hmm. and production mm-hmm. side of things actually oh no we we are on it to an extent like we're missing a few things but <laughs> we, we've actually got some good stuff going here which is actually something that I, that was one of the like main things that i realized which is quite interesting mm, yeah yeah and those things that we're missing are you in the fold of trying to put them in put the puzzle pieces in there so I mean, of course. I'm not going to tell you though. <laughs> you're going to have to, gonna have to pay for that info, you know? <laughs> no, I'm joking. I'm joking. So like a lot of also like why I went there, I wanted to um, actually analyze more like like artists and crowd reactions and mm, see right. kind of like what genres and artists and what kind of like what kind of got like the crowd, like what got crowds going and really engaged. Mm. I wanted to kind of identify that and see what I could do back here like for example an afro like let's let's take like an afro tech jaw it it gets boring having taking an afro tech lineup from start to finish guys Mm. like it's actually you don't by the end of the night that the the crowd is dead they're like (laughs) for zombies zombies. and then then you have a mass exodus at 12 one o'clock so that's kind of something that i realized like um taking a stage and actually like progression is very important in lineups mm. but mm, sometimes, it can, sometimes it can get boring so actually like don't be scared to do a bit of a genre jump you know depending on the brand but oh, yeah. that's kind of like the one thing that i um i realized and that i'm kind of trying to apply back here the second thing being like the attendees and the consumers have given you their money and especially here it's like getting it's quite hard to get people to part with their money so now that they've given you your money like how are you really going to make them feel special like what kind of touch points mm. um what kind of touch points are you going to focus on not just at the event but beforehand to really make them feel like this yeah. is money well spent mm. um, i'm not going to go into the specifics of what those are but Can't that's kind of like secrets, the, the thing, yeah. yeah that's kind of the things that are only after that that I, like, I my, my takeaways <laughs> yeah. focused on yeah oh, 100%. that's beautiful man so yeah i feel like it's good to get an international perspective as well because one thing i didn't realize is like a lot of genres that are popping overseas don't necessarily pop over here as well and then we exactly, were yeah. i think it was when we were speaking to my class he was saying to us that like the south african sound hasn't caught up to that side yet because mm. like obviously they're summer and our winter and all of this stuff and it's like we it, I don't know how to put it, but it's like, just because you see it that side doesn't mean it'll work this side. So it's like, when you do see something that side, how do you actually adapt it mm. when you come back for what we have and what we, you know, No, exactly. Um, like there was, um, I'm not going to name the shows, but there was a, an artist that came through the end of last year, like a large, like techno, progressive techno artist. 
he had a pretty much like a headlining show in Joburg in Cape Town. He's huge. I think I think he's massive. But he like yeah, I think in Joburg, I think the show only just touched like a thousand, maybe just touched a thousand tickets. Okay. Cape Town probably did a bit more because that sound is probably a little bit further on down yeah. there. Mm, yeah. But overseas, he would have sold out a ten thousand pack show. Yeah, sure. uh, so that's kind of just yeah, it shows that like not yeah, not mm. it doesn't you have to. It's quite analyzing what what will work here is, is it's a bit of a trick it's it's not it's not easy yeah that's um, mm-hmm. also, also something yeah okay. and also seeing like international afrotech because i feel like with our afrotech it feels like we're, we're top we're top bar i feel maybe yeah. it's 100 yeah. percent. Yeah. 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 comparis yeah. like comparatively wise how was it like that side like echo chill like looking at those sets <clears throat> i don't want to i don't want to get in trouble but <laughs> <laughs> But I'm gonna be honest. To me, um, I feel like they just they are missing something. They're like they just they they they're they missing like this this like flair, this like mm. African flair to them. Um, like my my easiest co- co- comparison would be like a like a like a Santon like mom trying to act cultured. Oh. Uh, that's solid yeah. that's kind of like my feel towards it like imagine you know karen karen's chatting to a homie's like oh my gosh guys did you try those maguinha cakes yeah oh, <laughs> oh wow <laughs> yeah from the lady on this over there on the corner of valley clear drive valley my help my helper showed them to me she they're great yeah she they are some. to die for and they were only two rand <laughs> two rand each like it's like you're too mm, good at that stop, right shh, stop stop <laughs> <laughs> yeah so yeah, okay that's a little bit extreme but they can't um, it's kind of like the yeah i feel like they're missing a little bit of it the, they miss like a little bit of like that cultural essence especially mm. in their sound but at the same time like don't get me wrong there are there, there's some amazing international <clears throat> like afrotech artists in, incredible they'll even come here and they'll shake it they'll play it to bomb crowds they'll yeah. make it cook um and I feel like they maybe they also probably like maybe miss a bit of that, that they have like a bit of that missing touch because also internationally the markets they play to the markets don't have that, that like African flair to them either. Yeah. So it's not oh, like they can okay. really test that stuff and really like push, it like embrace it. Mm. So I, I'll give that to them. Though. But yeah, you know the the, the local guys have got it locked. Locked down. Yeah. It's, uh, yeah. Absolutely locked. Mm. If it wasn't Afrotech, what genre would you play? Have you ever thought of it? <laughs> Guys, you know, deep down inside, I love a little bit of disco. Eh? I, <laughs> I, this, I, I feel it. Everyone it. fucking oh, loves disco. Man. It's in disco. Guys, there's some <laughs> weird events that happen. We have like, to go to Cape Town. We can't do it here. No, there's one in Joburg. But a guy named Six on Dex hosted And that's when I draw the line. <laughs> <laughs> if you're watching Guys. the Six on Dex, he doesn't look like Six on Dex. <laughs> <laughs> right. Don't keep slowing uh, it. He's probably <laughs> a nice guy. <laughs> oh no, like well, guys, you can't you can't go wrong with a little purple disco machine, you know. Oh. You gotta throw it down. Like I can't obviously we, like because of brand and that stuff. I can't I can't like pl- I can't actually play any of those sets. Mm. But on my USB, you just know there is a playlist called Disco. If it's there. Be, oh, it like, is in there. <laughs> so the it's like I need disco. Just like. <laughs> and it's not a lot guys like obviously it's just like 20 tracks but yeah. it's 20 tracks of like yo thumpers mm, you know those, those, those disco bangers mm. oh this jokes we'll have to come to the private party for that one yeah uh, 100 percent yeah, yeah. yo if there's a, a tristan owen uh, house party jewel i'll throw it down oh fuck it. It. that's what we need it's literally like play what play not your genre night yeah. yeah everyone oh, guys, that'll that'll be that'll go off eh? yeah that'll be mad yeah what do you think the gents in your house would play <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't get a violin i feel <laughs> he said he loved classical oh yeah <laughs> yeah and you know what i've been to his like when he back when he stayed with his, like obviously when he still stayed at home with his friends mm. i feel like that's where it comes from his dad was always like into like some injured i'd come to his house and his dad's like doing something weird like busting like a guitar or like yeah. a piano so i think yeah that's where and or like some classical music busting mm, so i think that's yeah go. maybe i reckon you'd yeah. throw down some of that <laughs> mm. i mean i mean even yeah, i feel like tennyson would also like enjoy a little bit of gospel eh? <laughs> gospel <laughs> DJ set. danger <laughs> danger <laughs> i don't know you might kill me for saying that i don't know <laughs> we've heard those sermons at the start yeah. of the set he's not <laughs> fooling anyone <laughs> uh. um <clears throat> My brother, I know you would 
bust some dirty techno. Mm. Yo, I would see you. When he saw my room four, he was loving his fire. Yo, yo, rest yo, in peace, guys, man. Room uh, four, yo, room four. Take a moment yo, of silence. Ish. That's, yeah, deep yeah. one, yo, guys. Ish. Deeper, fuck. Yo. Yeah, I know that is that is a pity, that. Mm. Um, yo, Scalum, I don't know, hey? Mm. Man's li- Janos. Janos is fine. Yeah, he'll yeah, he'll throw, he'll throw down Janos, I'm sure. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> That's the one. <laughs> oh, goodness, man. Jeez. But yeah, so now getting into our favorite part of the show. The fans' favorite part of the show. How's it? We didn't forget about you guys. But we're going to get into a cheeky couple of vibe checks. See? We, uh. we, we made it shake the last time. Don't get scared. <laughs> Don't <laughs> all right, scared. all right, all right. We were told that that clip made it into a lot of DJ groups. <laughs> <laughs> We decided that maybe we don't do that this time around, but we do. How's it? Revives podcast. We're not scared. Let's not let's get me cancelled. <laughs> yeah. Let's go. Uh, so Adrian. the first vibe check of the night is vibe check on Cloudberg. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, guys, gotta love it. It's a vibe. It's a it's it's a vibe. You know. Yeah. It's you gotta love it. It's it's home at even, the end of the day. Even I mean, all the cloud TBA as well. Yeah, I mean, I'm re- I have my reservations, but <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the clout and the yo and the two faced stuff is mm. it's I think we all know it's there, but mm. gotta love it. It's home, so it's a vibe. It's a vibe. Oh, it's, it's in the vocab. It's sticking. You know? <laughs> <laughs> it's, 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 it's there. You're stuck, man. <laughs> <laughs> oh god, I thought Cape Town would have been worse. I must be honest. Like it, outside looking in. It really is, but I don't have a word for it. You can't call it clout down. It just doesn't, <laughs> it doesn't follow. <laughs> clout down. I think there's, there's other, we've got other references for it. Yeah. Like, uh, swear at them. <laughs> <laughs> Back Refer- time. The references more poking into the, the substances. The nasal, <laughs> the, 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 the nasal <laughs> habits. Wow. <laughs> 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 Uh, so that's yeah, does anyone the, else need the bath? <laughs> the, 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 the clickiness and uh, yeah, just just l- let them live it. It's fine. They can yeah. they can be what they want. It's alright. If you had <laughs> to choose between Joe Big and Cape Town, you have to. You can't go to the other one for the rest of your life. Which one would you choose? Oh, because not even just the jawling scene. Like just oh, you can't even living. like go for holiday. Can't go for holiday. Can't go to the garden reach. You're not visiting anyone. Ah, <laughs> deep, ah yo, you're cutting me out. The garden reach. <laughs> <Hey, laughs> oh, family. Yo. You get derbs. Uh, uh, yeah, no, I'm not a fan of that area. Hey, I went like, I'm, and you're literally there for most of the same thing. Yeah. It's probably like one of my least favorite places. And I'll be honest with you, it's because of the weather, guys. You know, oh, it's, okay. just, it's, it's, it's confusing. Yeah. Guys, and, and like, I feel like whenever I'm there, it's raining. Yeah. Like, why is it's always, always raining? <laughs> <laughs> it's hot. And just, no, no, no. Yeah. like, just at least a little break. Yeah. If it's not raining, it's windy. Yeah, actually. And so, and, and humid, humid the, the humidity finishes yeah. me. No, it's, 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 yo, it kills me. Mm. That's why, like, I think last year my mistake was not wearing a cap. My hair does some weird stuff down there. <laughs> stuff it won't do, yeah. <laughs> I can't control it. You have some confidence. Like, my hair curls and Joe like, it some curls. It's just, it's just <laughs> I, get, I get a whole afro, bro. Like, I'm like, what? <laughs> <laughs> oh, where? <laughs> yeah, and you're there for so long as well. Like, yo, I come back and it's like, like, take my hair takes a while to, like, <laughs> um but yeah cape town and cloudburg i'm gonna have to say cape town guys i am born there mm. so before people try out yeah, me like, oh, okay. you wanna, yeah. if, if you're just one of those you just want to move to cape town i'm actually born there so <laughs> unlike all of you joe burgers who fucking yeah, i'm not a volley i'm from there okay <laughs> <laughs> that is where <laughs> i feel better than you. um but yeah like cape town's um it's it's creative space is top like really top tier mm-hmm. and just having just like a little bit more to do is um yeah. you, you can actually remove yourself from like the cloud burginess a little bit you know mm. which is and like the essence of that you can climb them out like whenever i'm there i'm often once again like the the introvert within me takes advantage like i'll go for a walk along like the whole i'll walk from like greenpoint all the way down to like camps bay and back just <laughs> I, yeah, it's, it's a track but i'll literally just put in earphones i'll walk the whole way and back and i'll just be like the most zen human ever it's yeah. so cool that yeah it's, 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 it's yeah so i have to choose cape town sorry cloudberg i do love that's you it's fair. fair no you love us yeah, yeah the whole time don't so cancel me <laughs> <laughs> next one maybe winning some favor with the people but vibe check on calling people food names instead of pet names 
feel like you're very notorious for this on your story, calling everybody pretzels and fucking baskets and the whole lot. <laughs> Guys, it just fits. Like, I mean, it just works. I don't know. Like, it just goes pretzel. Like, it just goes off the tongue. Like, <laughs> I've never heard it in my entire life. Biscuit, maybe. But pretzel's like, it's like, wait, what did so, you say? You little chippies? It, was, it wasn't, so like, biscuit, yeah, that's like the easy yeah. one. But biscuit. biscuit, it's too, like, four easy now, you know? Oh, How's it's it's my, my how is it? How is it? That's where you're yeah. from, bro. <laughs> don't lie Boys. to me. Don't hide your truth. Yeah. The north will always be within me. Facts. <laughs> the word VAB rolls off the tongue too much. VAB. It is. Just it all it rolls, but <laughs> I don't know. Cause so I thought I, can't, I don't want to use biscuits. So savory snack. Savory snack. I'm like not so obviously like snack as well on its own. I feel like now nah, I'm just referring to like. Well, like, no, nah, let me not say that, actually. <laughs> <laughs> I, like, you know, I was going to be like, cracker, and I was like, that's it. <laughs> yeah, cracker's also like, yeah, I'm not a cracker. How's about cracker? Like, Wait, hold yeah, on. Like, <laughs> like, Ooh, no, you'd also refer to, like, people this. being, you, you see, bro. You little cheeky rice cake. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, rice cake. Don't do this now. I like that. Your rice cake. How's it, you sexy rice cakes? <laughs> that one works. Oh, uh, God. <laughs> eventually, I just settled on, like, pretzel, you know, just... You salty, delicious pretzels. Yeah. Just it red rolls off. <laughs> and it catches like people's it. attention. They're like, ooh. ooh you know, they're like, mm, calling me a salty, delicious pretzel. Oh, I'm like interested. <laughs> <laughs> so. Hey, I that. that was your joke. So, <laughs> obviously, it's a vibe, you know? Big oh, yeah, 100%. Okay. Love the vibes. So, we're trying out a new segment as well, which is quick fire questions. Davey, nice. if you want to take him through because you have to do the, the speed round just first thing that comes to your mind just bang it you out you don't have to i mean you can elaborate but it's just limited time quick okay all right speed round early set versus later sets early sets beautiful mm. biggest ick about dj Yo, that can't be a quick guys. This there's so many. We'll come back uh, to it. being ooh, perceived of having a crazy ego. Love okay. that. Favorite party you've ever played at? This is gonna be a tough one. It's going through the whole resume now. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna just throw down like the big one. I want it to, like. You can't do this to me. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. He's like, uh, favorite part of ever played? Mm, I'm just trying to think of vibe. Can I say two, 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 two. Yeah, that down, okay, that downstairs floor from uh, at Tiger Tiger at Rage with that fat bass Duh. or just yeah. bins. That one, yeah. crowd energy was insane. Yeah, okay, and then just from an experience in aesthetic, the Rapture, I think. Rapture. Every, we'll talk about Rapture one day. <laughs> <laughs> favorite part <laughs> you've ever thrown? Um, or at least been a part of in throwing favorite one crescendo, crescendo. Oh, the, crescendo the one the, the first one in COVID. old school mm. damn and yeah. dream international to bring over mm, gotta expose my secrets yeah. <laughs> <laughs> are they in the pipeline we don't know <laughs> um, Rufus to soul oh that's a massive that would be one. I would cry Genuinely like, in tears. And I have tried and tried and You just tried. said the fucking... Uh, what, <laughs> you said Guys, the listen, offer. I'll be uh, off the record. Con- conversations progressed quite far, but it's just... When, the, when that bill comes down. It's mm, it's a lot. Oh, okay, <laughs> yeah. Fuck can't, I'm like, can't. Even with our one drum and bass um, friend who like hosts a lot of events, he said that he's reached out to some of those drum and bass DJs. And once you hit, like, because proof is the soul and those drum and bass DJs still are like, close, but... Yo, yeah, no, Price charging price. insane. Guys, can I tell you something? With the Rufus to Soul, wasn't he, the money like, like it made sense to be honest. The most ridiculous thing was the the requirements that they come with. Mm-hmm. Um, the with riders, the show, yeah. The, like the riders, the amount of like the team that they travel with, it's like fifty people. Fuck. Oh, cool. And like the amount of like on site backstage stuff they require is is so so crazy like it's almost mm. impossible to do it on a festival ground mm. like well, maybe ultra area. could facilitate it but um like other festivals they just what they require is just completely out of this world yeah. it's the the costs of supplying what they require will way outweigh the actual fee of bringing in which is 
Just Imagine your rider costs more than your fee. That's fucked up. <laughs> that's a before. Well, it is. It's a lot. Okay. I feel but like yeah. you may not be able to answer this, but here's one more last quick fire one. What's one of the wildest riders that you've had to kind of handle? Uh, hospitality. Yeah. Like so, so, okay, like the like the consumption stuff. Yeah. yeah. I'm not gonna say their name, but I actually read one today, and <laughs> the list went size medium. <laughs> two times pairs of size medium female white socks i was like okay <laughs> then it says size medium cotton g-strings two strong 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 <laughs> then it says um I, like then it's like the towels and then it gets the drinks part and listen there's two people and i know they'll travel with one other person what like a road manager and maybe like a guest each so it's a group of five mm. For that group of people, they want two bottles of Don Julio 1942. From the bottles, well, that's already six grand a pop. Fuck hell. They want two bottles of they didn't they didn't know what our premium vodka is, but like let's just take like a like a oh, uh, uh, Grey Goose 500 like a Grey grand. Goose or something. They wanted two bottles of that. Then they want two bottles of like a super high end champagne. It's like guys, they, they, that's they're so three k really no. That's yeah, like. And then they wanted, then I saw like another two bottles of like a whiskey. I'm just thinking, I'm like, now we're on six bottles and there's five of you. Like in my younger days, I tried to consume like 500 mils of gin. <laughs> I thought I died. <laughs> <laughs> now there's six bottles of alcohol and a maximum five of you. Like, where's this going to go? Yeah. Guys? I'm like, yeah. I was Solid like, nah. Back. Um, so from an alcohol side, that's that, like that, that one, and like just weird stuff, like cheese drinks, guys. And socks. That's so weird. Now I must, I mean, now I must go into the, and like they, I must probably find bougie ones. Like, yeah. Yeah. maybe I go to find bougie cheese strings. I don't know. Pick like, and pay clothing, bro. <laughs> yeah. I'm and it's literally, and literally like, so yeah, I, help I, I need a medium G string, and then, no, no, not for me, not for me, not for me, not for me. <laughs> there's, there's one that I've heard of that I haven't dealt with, but an artist that was brought here by G and G a while back. He wanted something like a thousand red skittles. Oh, that and you, was jarring. And you can't obviously buy. I don't. You, they couldn't get them in just that color. Yeah. You had to buy enough for the thousand red skittles, and that just they sat for like three days of like piecing out all these. It was more. It was, I think it was like three to four. Surely know, four, it was a, th- a few was thousand person. red skittles. They spent hours, days piecing out all the red skittles. Didn't touch them. Oh, I'd the, kill. The if guy, I was part of that, I'd kill someone. The guy did not touch them. So and let alone the black like, 20 platters of like high end sushi and all of that other stuff. Didn't touch it. <laughs> 30,000 multicolored Skittles on the end. <laughs> <laughs> a fucking bowl of yeah. red Skittles. And, and then on the side, it's the all The brother looked at him and like, hmm. Thanks. Yeah. <laughs> We're going to perform now. <laughs> That's crazy. Yeah. Do you sometimes wish you weren't working an event? Like, I feel like because you deal with so many events, like so many artists and stuff like that. Do you sometimes, are you like, shit, I just wish I could just let loose and just jaw at this one? Yeah, there are a few. I won't lie. They are like, there are. Um, but what's quite cool, like sometimes like the FOMO will hit me a little bit. Mm. Um, but now that I've, pro- I've probably attended, I've, att- I've pretty, probably attended every single festival there is to go to yeah. in SA. <laughs> I've, and i've started i've worked a lot of them now so like it doesn't hit me as hard uh, but if there's yeah. like a huge artist then i'll be like i'm, I'm calling time out <laughs> the earpiece yeah. is out it's like <laughs> who needs me no one uh, you know what's con- you are like what's quite convenient is if like <clears throat> if i'm working like the the show and at the end when it's done like to when like the maybe like the most of the work is done uh it's like the one thing about that's great about the job is you can drink on the job it's not, oh, like yeah, a lot of yeah. other people can't say that it's like <laughs> if the if the artist and their manager that you've been like working directly with for like months in advance and and you had you looking after them on the ground they're like oh come come we're having some shots you're like that must be the best I'm thing there. as well it's like how we've done it we yeah did it's it, like we made it's, it. um that which that, that's quite cool but mm. so yeah it only if there's a big artist that comes through i'll be like time out i am I'm going into the crowd. <laughs> I'm going to down there. I'm standing it. there on the rails. <laughs> I'll be in front. I'll be in my head. Oh, that's fucking beautiful. Oh, yeah. Fuck, yeah. Oh. Who would you say is the most like famous person in your phone then after dealing with so many artists? Which phone? 
It's <laughs> 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 got a trap. Um, I don't know, like most famous. Probably. I don't want to say like there's numbers there. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. But um, I don't want to just just because there's numbers there. I don't want to say it like. No, oh, yeah. I got their number. Like, 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 oh, yeah, I ch number? chat to these guys. <laughs> like, yeah, I know. Like, I would have had to have spoken to some of them, maybe like regarding a show one, and yeah. that. But so, like, maybe. Hmm. I'm trying to think. Like, even on like the international level. I think like locally, like all the big dogs, there's mm. there's a coffee number in there, oh. <laughs> there's a Zakes number in there, there's, uh. a, there's a Shimza number in there. Uh, light, 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 light. Uh, yeah. you know, there's, there's, there's a major league number in there. Oh, like there's, God, God. There's, 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 there's quite a few. So that's, I think on that, like, like, like pretty much the like- Anyone the, who I need. The, the biggest of the biggest locals are, they're there. The international guys are very different. They much more like, Manager. sometimes they'll they surprise you like, like I'm not a huge artist, but like artists, you don't expect to just be sent their number. Mm. Like like Stimming, for example, when he comes, always just talk to him direct. Cool, very cool guy. I such was a cool gonna guy. say he seems like he just comes here to catch vibes. Like he he loves, loves it. he just loves SA yeah. guys. Mm. Um, <clears throat> uh, especially Truth as well. Yeah, mm. Like when he came, remember just like somewhere around COVID when he played it. That's that's it's personal. Mm. Yeah, yeah. And he didn't play Truth. He like we. We actually had him for a crescendo in Cape Town. I hate it. What a party, by the way. <laughs> that was also one of my favorite crescendos ever. Mm. Um, and he, when we were taking him back to the airport, he said to us, he was like, just it felt wrong not playing a truth. He felt I like he had it. done South Africa an injustice almost. Oh, I hate it. So he I just, he just so yeah. Much. He, yeah. <laughs> um, especially from like a price point, he tries, mm. to, make, he tries to be like really accessible mm. to like the market that likes him and enjoys his music. So mm. yeah. Um, that's pretty cool he's, he's like he's super cool and calm another guy that was like that was also like so cool was, was Andles mm. Mm. he's apparently it's pronounced Andles by the way that's what yeah Andles oh. that's yeah that's how he, he said it so many name like pronunciation problems and I always ask him when yeah. I'm like just quick one this is your name is pronounced mm. like this right yeah and they're like and he's ah, like, nah. you can say it like that but <laughs> <laughs> uh, also such a cool guy mm, um, yeah. yeah i forgot what the question was why was it <laughs> <laughs> we're talking about the sickest person in your oh body. okay yeah, okay yeah. yeah but yeah that genuinely that's yeah probably the stimming is yeah going back like you spoke a little bit about crescendo we wanted to ask like the what is an event that you wish like had worked out like that either it was a party that you threw and then it had to be binned or like you worked on the event and it didn't really hit the traction but you were like this has so much potential to just go I off think de like definitely the crescendo brand mm. um that like people to this day are still like they'll be like that party man bro when another one please please another one another one yeah like that was that thing was really like it was something special so um it's unfortunately um we threw like a really like like long series of them beginning of la was this last year mm. we struggled to land the sponsorship it needed it's a very expensive show to put on oh, yeah. um and every single one lost money um, oh, sure. and for that's it's with it's with jng yeah. i think it just got to a point where um it's, it's just kind of like it's difficult to like justify the losses listen the, the parties didn't flop which is so so which was so like shits they yeah. they were thumpers they were mm. so cool um but every single one lost money just because of how expensive they were yeah so it just got a bit hard to justify its continuation mm. which is a pity but you know it might, might, if, uh, it, might, it, might it might come back you know it's <laughs> it's not the end it's not it's not gone but let's see you still got the instagram um, account <laughs> yeah i think that's got a few other ideas a lot of babies i'm not going to share them <laughs> <laughs> can't do that no 100 <laughs> percent. no i feel like you have like the thing that i appreciate the most about you is i feel like you take a lot of thought process into every aspect that it takes to be successful in this industry not just as like a dj not just as like a events like organizer or like an artist liaison but everything packaged into one and it's like for me the thought processes that you've said today i wouldn't even imagine 
like thinking about it's things that you it's that 10 years of job experience you need the second you get out of uni it's like yeah, 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 literally yeah. and like it's something that's quite cool like that i must give um I'm, i must give credit to um <clears throat> to gng and actually you guys do you guys know Rache? Rache divine mm. oh. high school no uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> back in 2019 like we were like we knew we like we knew each other we weren't like homies I was actually I was a videographer by trade. Mm. Oh, well, by it. the way, I yeah. I've got still got a lot, I've got all my gear. It's, it's sitting there. So oh, like, bad. If we're like it's um <laughs> yeah, it's just something that's not a lot of people still know. Um, so I was shooting a video at this one event, and he was playing at it, and he said to me, "He's like, bro, I, I actually need some like, uh, if you want to like come help at GNG with some rage stuff, and maybe just gain some experience, like come come through, bro." So I messaged him on the Monday. I'm like, mm-hmm. let's do it. Obviously, it was it wasn't it wasn't like paid or anything. Mm-hmm. It was more just to like, just just like go learn, help out, and get involved. And I basically like did that for six months, and then I basically from there, it's that's kind of where it fucking took skyrocket. off. And obviously, like through COVID, GNG we like went through that like, quite a bit of the pits. Mm. So a lot of people left, and I I was kind of like there. And I was, and I had to like fill in and in like these roles and I'm like, I was only like I'm like my second year of studying and I'm having to <laughs> execute some like crazy me. stuff. Where I'm like full deep in. Yeah. I think that's probably like where I learned, like I really learned a lot. Yeah. Like obviously there, with a lot of people, a lot of the people that left, there wasn't really a lot of like skills to hand over. Rache obviously mm. he had he ta- he did teach me a lot. Um, but I kind of had to learn a lot on my own. So that's what kind of, I put myself in a perspective of like, a lot of like a very like outward thinking approach. Yeah. I think like, what would I want if I was talking to that? Like if this, if that thing was talking to me. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's beautiful, man. It's kind of, yeah. It's, it's cool. Yeah. Yeah. It's a vibe. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's a fucking vibe, man. God damn it. Tristan, thank you so much, man. Oh, bro. Gentlemen, fun. thank you so much for having me. Beautiful thank day. It's been a day. great chat. Yeah. yeah wow. 100%. Chat. Yeah, Davey? You're doing the outro. You can take us out. <laughs> oh, making yeah. nervous. Say, say, take us out, boy. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> He's going to steal your job. <laughs> no, I mean, everyone's, everyone does. Well, I'm not going to get into that. <laughs> 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 everyone does the job better than me. No. For Dylan Lives, I've been Dave, and this has been Vows Podcast. Thanks for tuning in. You can check us out on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, YouTube for the video version, Amazon Podcasts. We're on the the Chinese Uber drivers translation machine. If you just say Vows, 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 Vows into it, then the podcast plays immediately. <laughs> oh, damn, that was a good one. <laughs> that was a good aye, one. Aye. <laughs> did, you, uh, did you just think about that now, or did yeah. you save that? that no, was, no, no, no. <laughs> 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 Our brains work too fast. Oh, we do <laughs> oh god! But yeah, one more thank you to you, Justin. Thank, thank you. you. Lost. I have question. a question for you guys. Oh, I'm gonna do throw something a little bit different in here oh, before yes. before you get, before you, you end it. So yeah. Why did you guys start the podcast? Oh, hectic. That's a beautiful question. Oh, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> we'll get back to that one next year. Yeah. <laughs> um, we started it like the conception was during covid and it was lebs and i were playing gta 5 and oh, of course uh, of course we yeah. basically it turned it into a job like the way we were running that game our online bank account flourishing yeah, no, no, I'm uh, physical, yeah. physical <laughs> bank account not flourishing the <laughs> <laughs> hey, 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 hey. and then we were just talking and like it'd be so cool to record us like talking and like it'd be so cool to like have like a podcast all process where people can watch us play like streamers basically yeah and then we went and like, let's try the podcast thing. So we went and we bought like these cheap, cheap mics. Dodgy mics. <laughs> I plugged it into <laughs> USB to USB to USB C. Into his iPad, bro. Oh, man. Fuck me. And then we recorded it. And then my one friend, he's a sound engineer. I gave him all the audio. Never got back to me. Oh, dear. Like, he, it was that bad. He said, like, I couldn't do anything with it. Yeah, so we recorded like three episodes, I think, in my garage dodgy we still no one will ever footage. see it no one will ever see that <laughs> ah, see come it. on guys like for, one day one day for you know we're, one day for here i think we'll, we'll go and Don't we'll delete do the audio it. over <laughs> i'm not, like, we'll let the video I'm not reconnecting anything the yeah. first vibe the first official vibe check everyone vibes podcast was only fans like 
Look at where we are now. We had no idea where the fuck the trajectory oh, goes. So yeah, then Dylan came back from Cape Town and Dill's been doing this shit. And he had oh, a cool. oh, yeah, good okay. head on his shoulders and some free time to help us out. Oh, thank goodness. <laughs> <You're>, <laughs> thank goodness. <laughs> oh, uh, God. I'm mad. And then yeah. what's, uh, what's your um, plans for, for the future of the, of the podcast? Ooh. What have you what have you got in store? Do you, do you think like do you think quite far ahead or are you kind of just trying new things here and there and just following like once again the same well like following the the formula that you have and seeing mm. different I think goes breaking it I feel breaking okay. what the formula oh yeah yeah hundred percent I feel like from Feb was when we interviewed like our first artist okay and then that kind of like changed the trajectory of what we do like in time oh, even cool. though in like December and stuff, we were thinking of having like you guys on and stuff like that. Like we already oh, cool. had it in our heads what Yo. we wanted to do. Like it was crazy. Damn, okay. And then, yeah, ever since we interviewed Mike, Mike, Mike Lars, and then Dakota, fucking yeah. Sheldon and Jono and then Dakota, and then it just fucking, oh, man, we yeah. were in clear. Like it was like, we did like four DJs. That's not that hectic. And now I literally just scroll. <laughs> just oh, DJs, and okay. DJs and we had parties on parties. But we do have some very exciting stuff in the works much like can't you. wait we'll tell you when the camera goes off <laughs> <laughs> but yeah no we're very excited for our trajectory i think it's just like i don't know showcasing sa and what our scene looks like and i think ah, like even this is it, i'm glad you asked the question because now i can say this because i forgot i appreciate what you do when you record your live sets like mm. i think that's so fucking oh, sick yeah. for you to record them and post them i think that's something that our country is lacking on and I think it could be like a very big type of like, I know that, I don't know what the events company is called, but they do Africa My Playground and they try to do the circle thing a little bit. Oh uh, yeah, that's, so that's Dan and everything. Yeah, connects, that's Dan. And yeah, yeah, connects things. So I think that we could, like, if you had the camera set up at Rapture, tell me the top of fucking Katie's and then you have the fucking one yeah. on you guys. Proski, that party yeah. deserved ah. fucking all angles, <laughs> boiler room type shit. No ways. Oh, what a jaw. Yeah, Especially that set you guys played. Like, fuck's sake. It's your bro. One, one of my favorite sets as well. It's so hard to say which one. Yeah. Like, <laughs> Yo, dude. You know what? Yeah. Different aspects of like why they were great to you and especially at the time. Yeah, exactly. You know, so it's, yeah. Um, Just one thing on like the live sets. Like as an artist, it's really difficult to get those out because if we make like one slight error, we can hear it, especially yeah. on seasoned jewelers can hear it. But I feel like majority of the people don't notice it, but it like high, it's it's highly difficult to put out something because you're worried like if a promoter sees it yeah. and they're like, oh, yeah. oh you, this, 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 this guy on mistake. mix. Yeah. Like I kind of eventually I was like, you know, it's, it happens to everyone mm -hmm. um, and rather be raw and real, but like, what happens when you play like yeah. that's exactly the experience that people are getting so yeah in my sets you'll hear in those recordings you'll hear sometimes a changeover sounds a little bit funky or there's a cut the track is a tiny bit off yeah but um that was like where a lot of the reluctance came from posting before but now i'm just like fuck yeah oh, screw it some um oh, almost yeah. i try to record every single one yeah. um yeah. also just try to push music out there mm. like of artists that i try to support who's releasing new, new music and also to younger artists that are trying to like get onto some cool music try push that out and then mm. who's the unreleased plug be honest where are you getting him where you get the unreleased be honest what's the group chat ah. <laughs> so that's once again when it comes to booking lineups that's quite it's quite viable in that sense because they're like you have the you have the contacts and you hear wind about this unreleased you see it in a mix and you hear wind that it's this person's track so you just message the manager or the artist you like Swing over a little pre-release there. Let me test it out for the crowd. Oh. Give me some feedback. Yes, boy. <laughs> <laughs> Are what? you going to book me? Nah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm just, bro, I'm pushing a music for yeah, you. Gonna, <laughs> gonna, 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 let, let's grow this track, let's, you know? <laughs> oh, that's fucking yeah, nice, but Gentlemen, I absolutely love what you guys are doing and, your, and the podcast. Oh, so thanks for having thank me. You, it's been thanks great to chat and to, to tell a few of my stories. It's, yeah, 100%. I appreciate it. I feel like if we didn't have a fucking time on this thing, we could go so like ah, forever, bro. bro. Can talk. I, 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 there was a few more things I had to just be like, <laughs> Tristan, cut it. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Relax. We don't need to do that. <laughs> next time, next time, next time, next time. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, 100%. Thank Shout you so us. much, brother. Yeah. Woo woo. Thanks Shout for it, And where can they find you as well on Instagram and. Okay, so Instagram is literally at Tristan Irwin. Um, straightforward no underscores no dots nothing mm, uh, obviously the mix is on youtube also tristan Owen, it should pop up um 
and yeah, I know there's a TikTok and Twitter or X, whatever you want to call it, but I'm not so active on there, so. Yeah. And if you yeah, see a golf cart at Rage, it's me. This is him. fucking on um, it. Yes, <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. Thank you guys so much for tuning in to this episode of Vibes Podcast. And as always, keep vibing. Woo! Oh,